So here we have a 1980 uh, Intertech Data Systems Superbrain, a Z80 base machine running CPM 2.2. I've just been restoring it and you'll see over here I've got the cover removed and I've got a donor machine over here, a second one that I got hold of. And the uh, problem with this machine was uh, this seemed to work and it, it looked like it was booting and everything but there was nothing on the display. Uh, I actually found that um, the display on the other machine, donor machine, worked. So um, let's turn it on and uh, and see if it boots up. So um, one of the challenges with these is it takes a little time for the CRTs to warm up, not like our flat screens of the day. Wonderful. So look at that. We've got a insert disk in a drive. So I'll just push this five and a quarter with the boot disk on and shut the door. And wow, if uh, only new machines booted that fast. Um, just while we're here, we'll go down to the PCB, and I believe that that is the uh, Z80A CPU, and I believe that's running at about uh, 2 megahertz, if I remember rightly. Um, let's do a DIR and see what's on the hard drive. And we've actually got the CPM files. I see these are uh, MBASIC there. So let's see if we can get that started. I've never run this before. Well, that's looking promising. Let's try and write a program. I wonder if it's a comma or a semicolon, I have no idea. Let's do run. Well, looked like it worked. Excellent. So, um, that's interesting actually, the basic as well I've just noticed is actually Microsoft basic, 1977 to 1981. Um, I didn't actually know basic on CPM was written by Microsoft, so there you go. We learn something new every day. Um, current date is uh, November uh, 2020. So what's this then? That's like a um, 81, 1980. That's um, a 40 years. So this computer's been around 40 years and it's still operational and working. Um, my next goal is to back up the CPM disk. Um, I'll have to go and find out how I do that. Is it um, PIP maybe that I use for that? If my memory does me um, correct or uh, some other command and then um, it's got a bunch of serial ports on the back so I'll guess I'll hook that up to a Raspberry Pi or something and uh, see if I can make a, a dump of the uh, of the disk and um, save the CPM disk for eternity somewhere on the cloud. <laughs> something that I bet this machine never ever thought would happen to it and uh, at least then we've got some backups. I have got a bunch of discs that came with it and I haven't got them out of the box and gone through them yet to see if they work so that's the next um, the next challenge. So hopefully I'll make some more videos, I'll get the cover back on and get it cleaned up and um, yeah, let's see, um, let's see what we can get this uh, old machine to do.